Hello and welcome to today's issue of the IW Manufacturing Business Challenge, brought to you by Canaxis. I'm Steve Minner, Editor-in-Chief of Industry Week. Today we'll be looking at faulty forecasts and unreliable sales projections at SOT Ceramics. The CFO at SOT Ceramics has worked to develop a thorough sales and operations planning process that works through plans for sales, production capacities, inventory, lead times, investments, and finances on a monthly basis. SOT makes insulators and substrates for this electronics industry, as well as orifices and nozzles for industrial uses. With such a range of products and customers, it's important that the company's planning works as intended. Occasionally, everything hums along just fine from month to month, but inevitably, they are blindsided. The CFO believes good organizational planning really starts and ends with their customers and sales forecasting, and too often, this data turns out to be very unreliable. The CFO and Director of Sales have tried to bring some standardization to the sales function from the way salespeople define a sale to the manner by which they develop their individual forecasts. But most of the sales staff are a bunch of cowboys, shooting from the hip and grabbing their commissions, forecast be damned. Despite some investments in demand planning and supply chain planning tools, as a company, they still rely heavily on a variety of manual techniques and legacy spreadsheets to pull their forecasts together and share. These homegrown tools make it difficult to update the many day-to-day -day changes that occur. The CFO believes the sales forecasting component of the planning process has turned into SOT's Achilles heel. With the rapid ups and downs of their markets today, his operations and supply chain is constantly being whipped back and forth, either piling up unnecessary inventories, SOT's and suppliers, over time and expediting costs to hit sales targets that eventually don't materialize, or straining to satisfy unexpected orders and racking up every conceivable quality and delivery error in the rush. He isn't asking for a crystal ball, but he does need to reorganize SOT's sales forecasting before it damages the company. Where should he start? 